You ready? Tell me when. Tell me when. We're already filming. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, we are leaving to go to Frogtown. If you don't know what Frogtown is, it's a big vintage race in Angels Camp, California. Like, I think, Little South Sacramento. We're going to take down the bikes that we're taking. Uh, I'm going, Ari is going, and our buddy Anthony from Cool Stop is going. So we have all of our bikes we're taking. Um, we're going to take some of these bikes downstairs, make sure they're good. We're going to go over the bikes with you guys. And yeah, you'll probably see some Frogtown footage coming up. So let's uh, get into these and take them downstairs and get everything ready to go. What's going on over here, Ari? Oh, we got the good old spoke popping through. Shad sabotage. Oh, Shad. Chad sabotage my race bike. So or you just didn't look at over the bike enough? Not blaming it on Shad. Which bike is this for? Oh, this is for the California Special. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we got one of these spokes in this guy, so. You might want to true these wheels, bro. <laughs> I have to go through these bikes. I gotta go through this one. Shad, what are we dealing with? Um, that's really close. So I'm gonna take this wheel off, put a little washer here. So th this Boss, this is a 1980 Boss. I rode this in like 91 after I cracked my bash guard bully frame. My friend's brother gave me this. I rode it. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to ride it for this race even though it's cracked back here on the seat stays. But the thing is, is in 91, I rode this thing and I had pegs on it and I grinded it. So these dropouts are pretty mangled and they've got memory. Looks like it's gonna rub on this free wheel. So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna space this out a little more um, and just try to get it rideable. I really think this bike is gonna be the death of me at that race. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, but again, I'm just gonna tighten this thing up. And then after we get this one done, I think we can just rip through and run over all the bikes with you guys. I mean, I just thought it'd be fun to show you what bikes we're taking. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna center this, put a little washer, center the brakes. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't break the frame or break these 1979 Robinson forks. I probably won't do anything. I'll probably just run out of breath going down the track on this thing. So we'll see. Here's one of the bikes I'm racing. I'm gonna have you go over your bikes. This is, like I was saying earlier, 1980 Boss. Uh, we got some CW bars, some late 70s Robinson forks. Uh, this Toughneck's really nice. This Toughneck's probably the thing I trust the most on this bike. Um, pretty cool saddle. Cycle Pro seat post. I don't even want to attempt to read what that seat clamp says. I think I got a Mongoose sprocket. Uh, some MX brakes. Uh, some cool stuff, fin shoes. And then this had cracked Z rims on it. And there's no way my fat ass is riding cracked Z rims on a downhill BMX track. So I put some of the Repop Moto Mags on it. Um, I'm gonna race this thing in the, uh, I think the classes go like 80 to 84 and then 85 to 89, I, I don't know. But this is the, I'm racing this in early 80s class. Um, I think I trust the tires and the stem the most. Maybe the CW bars, but, but yeah, I'm gonna weigh this thing. Let's see, what do you think this thing weighs, Ari? Oof, I'm saying 34. I think it's 28, which is pretty heavy for a bike from back then. Oh no, no, nope. come here, come here, I'm chasing it. Uh. Twenty nine thirteen. I'm never right with these things. So if it was Price is Right, I won. 
Um, should I just do my homes next and then you can do your two? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, this, that's the sketchiest bike we're taking. Uh, nope. Here, we're gonna switch off. My homes is buried too much. So <laughs> we've got REA's, well, this, this is one of my bikes, but he's racing it. Somehow he ended up with the uh, more solid race bike. So yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, I believe this is an 81, right? I think it's an 82? 81 or 82 Mongoose California Special that uh we saved from disaster we did save it yeah there was a there was a guy uh who'd stripped this whole thing and was selling off pieces and he was trying to wire wheel the rust off the wheels when we got this every bearing was out every spoke was out and we rebuilt it um, he'd sold the front brake and the chain ring so we replaced those but uh, what are your thoughts on this bike? How's it feel? I like this bike. I just, uh, I tried to sabotage me what? and, uh, made my tire go flat. That's not true. I would never do that. Uh, it, uh there is some sketchy rim, rim tape going on in here. And so I had to retape them and, uh, fingers you, crossed this thing makes it through the weekend. Do you think those SR pedals are going to grip to those, uh, Vans new schools you got? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. But, hey. So you're racing early eighties class in that thing. Yep, both classes I'm racing shed. So you know what that means. How about Moeller? I don't know. Okay. I uh, think he's going to be in the front. Do you want to go over, our buddy Anthony is going, do you want to go over his Haro really quick? Yeah. First, let's see how much this weighs. Okay, let's weigh this one. What's your thoughts? I say that's 27. It's got to be lighter than the boss. Even though I, I think I the say, boss frame's lighter. I say this is good 25 all right we'll see why that thing never is straight <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh 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 you're gonna start over here i'll press the button again hold on oh there you go there you go 27 27 flat 27.5 27 all right what was your guess again uh did I say 27 or did I say 20? I don't know. I think you said 25. You said 20? I said 25. You said 20 something. Okay, we're back. We had we had to deal with some we're stuff. We're back, hair's down, acting skills, all time low. Yeah, Ari yeah. might be in a music video, so we had to do some stuff. Yeah. But, uh, so, uh, but anyway, uh, I forgot where we are at, but this is a solid race bike. Anthony, at Cool Stop, you have the best race bike. Yeah, the best. The, the, this is the nicest riding bike. The brakes work the best. The wheels are the most solid. Has the coolest sprocket. Possibly the best seat. I mean. Yeah, I think this is like a 94 Haro Group 1 tie. I think it's like some mid-range race bike. We put some three-piece cranks on it, but it really rides good. Yeah. And it's really. Solid. So yeah so we, we got some new grips for it too so uh throw that thing up there let's let's weigh that i think that weighs 23 pounds you think it's a little heavier no i think i think you want to be close to the cake yeah. okay i'm gonna chase this thing and knock over my bike 26.1. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I like a heavier bike, so. All right, then I guess I'll show my homes. And we've, you guys have seen, we've done, Ari's racing his black homes. Uh, we've done a whole bike check on this thing. The only thing he did is he changed it up to a 46, uh, 16 gearing. Let me get that phone. Okay, we're back. Phone was ringing. So, I, I don't know. Uh, RA's bike, like I was just saying, he put a, he put a JP46 on it because the track's kind of downhill. Um, so, he's probably... I probably shouldn't let him take that sprocket. I probably should have put it on my bike. But uh, 
Anyway, here's my 95 homes. Um, Real quick, guys. Leave it in the comments below. Whose backplate stickers <laughs> are superior? This is my old plate, though. I know, but this one's mine. You, you don't have a front 242 sticker, dude. Oh, I know. Let's see that. There Let's see the front sticker. No, front 242, the band. Oh, I thought you were saying... Get with it, bro. I thought, get, you, were saying get with it. I thought you were saying your race number is 242. No, two it's not even that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mine's 206. Yeah, we're, we, we're in the 200. Yeah, point. so he, here's my 95 oversized homes that I'm racing. Ari actually won 90s class on this last year. Um... Both of our bikes have really shitty wheel sets. I mean, I actually have a Reyes, but we both have pretty shitty hubs. Um, I actually wish this was a dirt bike because I like the way dirt bikes ride better, but this is still a pretty awesome bike. Um, so yeah, I'm taking this one. Mine definitely, I think, has a more BMX Inferno Sheep Hills vibe. And REA's feels like, it's more like East Coast. You know, like, I feel like this is a West Coast. I, I don't know. I just look at Ari's and I feel like it's more like, looks like it would have been a push or posh or something back in the day with the comp threes. And then I feel like mine looks like something Timmy Ball would have been riding. So, but uh, yeah, those are the bikes that were taken. Sorry, this video is kind of just sloppy and thrown together fast, but um, we'll be posting up some other videos and stuff from the races. Ah. Uh, my front tire went flat on the boss. It just won't end. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> oh, dude. There's no even spokes. How did it go? Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to fix that. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys <laughs> later. <laughs>